what is your net worth and how can you calculate it? Is it based on the luxury cars you drive, the fancy house you live in, or developing job you have? Well, not really. In this video, I'll answer this question and provide you with an easy tool to calculate your own net worth. I'll also share my net worth calculation trend line over the past year. Before we get started, let's take a look at the results of a recent community poll that I had posted to my YouTube channel about two weeks ago. We had 70 respondents to this poll who answered the question, what's your current net worth? Majority of respondents, or about 60%, indicated they have a net worth of between zero to $250,000, followed by 14% who shared they have more than $750,000 in net worth. Sadly, we have about 13% of respondents who have a negative net worth. If you haven't completed this poll, I'll include the link in the video description so you can participate too. But how is your net worth calculated? Your net worth is the difference between what you own, known as your assets, and what you owe, known as your liabilities. To calculate your net worth, you first add the value of all of your assets. This includes things that have a value, including your home, car, and investments. Then you subtract your liabilities. These include things that you owe, uh, including your loans, outstanding mortgage, and credit card balance, and any other debts. Your net worth is a snapshot of your overall financial health at a specific point of time. It can provide a good overview of where you are financially, and if uh, it's tracked over time, it can provide valuable insights and show how you are making progress towards getting out of debt and preserving wealth. Let's go through an example here and show you how we can calculate our net worth using a simple calculator. There are many free net worth calculators online, but here we are using one from CIBC Bank. I'll include the link in the video description. All right, to start with our net worth calculation, let's key in assets for our uh, fictitious friend, John. He has $10,000 saved across his bank accounts in cash. He also has $2,000 in non-registered investment accounts and $50,000 saved in his tax-free savings account, TFSA. John does not have a registered education investment, RESP, but he has $25,000 saved in his registered retirement savings plan, RRSP. His home value is currently at $550,000 and he has about $10,000 worth of valuables in the form of gold. He does not have any other assets. This results in a total assets of $647,000. Next, we'll calculate his liabilities. He has $1,000 current uh, credit card debt. He also has a total of $5,000 in loan consisting of student and car loan. He doesn't owe any amount on his line of credit, but has a remaining home mortgage balance of $350,000. Other than that, John does not have any other liabilities. This results in a total liabilities of $356,000. After subtracting total liabilities from total assets, John's net worth is at $291,000. As you see, this simple calculator allows you or anyone to easily calculate net worth. Lastly, as promised, here's a look at my net worth trend line over the past year. I've also included another graph to keep track of my liquid assets. These are cash or cash-like assets, uh, such as stocks or bonds that can be easily converted to cash. Every month, I update a spreadsheet to keep track of my progress in growing my family's net worth and the ratio of our liquid assets to our overall net worth. Now that you know uh, you can calculate your net worth easily, head over to the poll question and let me know which category your net worth falls into. If you enjoyed this video and gained something of value from it, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Here on Momentum Finance, we post every week several videos about saving, investing, and ways to reach financial freedom. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.